going to talk a little bit about four myths of change management that I actually described in 2018 at the ACMP conference when I was vice president. Let me give you some context before I go into the four myths. These myths come from 2018 when I was standing up on stage. I was vice president at the time and I was on stage with my board colleague Patrick McCreesh. This is day two of ACMP's annual conference and we decided to talk about these myths, the myths of our profession. The driving force behind this is there's often victim mentality or victim kind of speak in the language or in the words that change professionals use about their own profession. And I certainly have experienced uh, being on the receiving end of people telling me, you know, making sort of bad, disparaging commentary about the work I do, or, you know, directly or indirectly. So people would say things to me like, you know, you always get the short end of the stick, or people don't really value what you do, or you always go last, or people drop, people don't, you know, you lose your budget, things like this, which weren't really true, but it was certainly the impression they had. And so wanted to, we wanted to spend a little time talking about the positive trends we were seeing. And so that's where these four myths come from. That's the spirit that they come from. Let me set the scene for you. We were up on stage. This is day two of the conference and first thing in the morning. And what we decided to do is present four questions, one at a time. And as we introduced one, anyone who agreed with the question, we asked them to raise their hand. So it was a little bit of a risk because we're up in front of 1,200 people. You know, they might not have raised their hands. <laughs> so it was a risk for sure, but luckily it turned out really well. And I was so excited at the time. So let me give you the first question and it'll make a little bit more sense to you. So the first question was, have you heard leaders accurately describe change management? So we asked the question and a sea of hands rose. <laughs> okay, we're on to something here. So the it was a great platform because what we were able to say is that oftentimes we hear ourselves say that leaders don't understand change management. We hear it from ourselves, we hear it from other people. But the reality is, is there are signs that they do understand what change management is or at least to accurately describe it. So that's definitely a positive trend. Most leaders don't have a deep understanding of change management because they haven't worked with a change professional. They may not even know that, they, that change, there's a change process that you can use to implement change. It, but they probably know what change management is because it's in the popular, popular literature. So at any rate, that was question one and we were off to a great start. Okay, question two. Have you been asked to create a change management practice for your employer or your client? Again, a sea of hands went up, which was exciting. And that's because we often say that companies don't care about change management. You hear that all the time, when in fact, many companies are investing in it. I know I myself has, have been part of creating an internal practice several times, and I have helped other companies create an internal practice that's right for them. Of course, people are investing in it. So that was a very encouraging sign and one I think that is positive for the profession. So that's question two. Okay, question three. Have you ever been promoted by your company as a change management professional? Again, sea of hands went up, and this one was really scary for me because I didn't know if we had many people who had been promoted as change professionals internally. And um, lots of people did. We, we often say that you can't have a real career as a change professional when you're working internally, when you're working as an internal practitioner, that you'll have more success as an external practitioner, as someone who is a consultant but that trend is shifting. 
I experienced it myself. I worked for 16 years as an internal practitioner in a very, very skeptical environment. It was, there was no clear career path for me as a change professional, and that's true for most change professionals that are working internally. But the trend is getting better. And uh, I myself was promoted as a change professional and turns out many, many other people. So the reality is that many people are being promoted as change professionals. And so that's a positive trend for our profession as well. So that was question three. Okay, last question, question four. Have you gone right into the change management profession immediately after college? This one I was really nervous about, <laughs> but again, we had lots of hands raised. Now it was less than the other questions, but lots of hands were raised. And um, I was so excited about this because it was more evidence that something good is happening. For me, I had only heard people say that they kind of fell into change management. And I found out quite by accident when I was giving a talk to a firm about change management, I said, you know, no one goes into this right out of college. And somebody raised their hand and said, no, I went right into it right out of college. And I was just so surprised. I was so excited. I went right up to him afterwards and talked to him about, you know, why he did that and tell me more about that. So that to me was a sign, oh my gosh, there's something happening here. Uh, so what I had learned then and what I learned by asking this question of all these people who were gathered, that there are some people who don't just fall into the change management role. They actually choose it and they choose it right out of college as their career. So again, another exciting and positive trend for the profession. I'll leave you with a couple of thoughts. What are you seeing in the industry that's positive? What signs are you noticing? What are the trends that you are seeing that are good for the profession? And how can you build on those? And I suggest you spend some time thinking about that because it can really shift your mindset and shift the language you use and how you think about your profession. And the way you think about it will impact the way others think about it. And that's only going to be good for everyone. So thank you for listening and see you next time.